coming from outside their bedroom door. When this happened. What about your kids? Ah! Hola. Ah! Oh. Hello, everyone. I'm Welcome. What? I wasn't looking. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another spooky video. Today's video is called 10 scary videos that are not nothing. Oh, nightmare fuel. Did we hear this title before? Probably. If you're new here, we're fun for AJ and we react to scary videos. And if you're not new here, you already know the drill. So grab your popcorn, get comfy and enjoy the show. Exclusive video was sent in by the Nick Michael Cannon Youngblood. movie with the, the it's a drum line, remember? Winchester, Virginia, I never watched that. that. I don't watch the Nick Cannon. Bloodiest battles of the U.S. Civil War. Filming his friend Jake when they capture something that I they think it was just so cool. did not the, expect. The drum. Let me get you from the front. Okay. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey. You recording? Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, now my socks are like wet because of the ground. Why aren't you wearing Look shoes? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Did you see it? No. When looking back at the video, Michael and Jake are shocked to see what looks like a mysterious figure Ooh, dressed what the hell? like a Civil War soldier and carrying a long, yeah. old timey musket. Oh, I thought it was a flag. The creepy apparition silently walks I across see the that field right behind them. But Michael and Jake say that they didn't see anyone at the time. <laughs> she was like, just minding my own business. <laughs> Your last name is Youngblood? Shadows of Doubt. <laughs> it's yeah. a normal Friday afternoon in Opelousas, Louisiana, and Dante Sonye stops at a service station to get some gas. Suddenly, he notices something very strange inside a parked and empty school bus across the street. Does make you wonder why school buses are haunted? Yeah. Wait. Look at that. Look at the children playing. Look at it. Wait. Is he going to go there? He's going to investigate. Still Not the shadows. No kids there, right? I saw like 20 kids. And there was like 20 shadows. An empty bus. But he took too long to get there. You could have left, right? And you're looking on Strange, the ground. Strange, creepy shadows of children can be seen walking through the school bus, even though the vehicle is parked and completely empty. Weird. Dante says that he walked over to the bus and even drove his truck around it, but saw no one and nothing to explain the bizarre apparitions. Posted his video to Facebook, where it quickly got over 2 million views. Whoa. As of today, the mystery of the school bus shadows creepy. remains unexplained. Okay, but I want to see the video of him going up to the bus so the shadows just stopped moving once he got there. A pen to the ground before he went. It could have been staged because he had plenty of time to leave because he was walking there. It took a while and it, like you said, it, he was just pointing the camera to the ground. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section. The Midnight Whisper. Red Ezer Mike is up around is midnight. Yeah, is that Matt? Yeah, have all went to bed. Hold on! <laughs> You can't, you, you can't tell me that isn't Mac from It's Always Sunny. You own Paddy. Stop lying. That's him. That's he him. suddenly smells a strange odor coming from the living room. And it's he suspects Charlie's that one dog. of the family pets might have urinated <laughs> on the floor. It's Charlie's but dog. Mike begins searching for the telltale puddle. Something scares the absolute <laughs> out of him. Hey, maybe I should drink. Oh, what? It's not pee? Look at the dog. <laughs> it's like, that's you. See what scares him or? <gasps> oh, the dog! Call your dog! The a small <laughs> childlike voice seems to whisper, Mike, from somewhere nearby. Mm -hmm. That is scary. Mike just books it up the stairs, leaving his dog <laughs> and his concerned little kitten in the background <laughs> to wonder what the hell just happened. I didn't even notice now, the Mike cat. Mike says that he lives in an old 1850s house near the coast of Herring Cove, Canada. That That's has a why. slight bit of dark history, but he says that he's never experienced anything remotely paranormal 
Mike has never even made a single post about anything supernatural. Wait, wait. so are, are we positive he has no kids or a nephew or niece? Because there are toys there. Are you saying those are all do dog toys or cat toys? What do you guys think? Do you guys believe this or do you think he had like one of his uh, family members or something do this? It's a dog who's like, the whatever. In the tunnel. <laughs> Nuke's top five viewer Sophie reached Why out to us about to a tunnel? very creepy video that her friend Laura recorded in an abandoned railway tunnel in Why? Hassel, Germany. Why are you the there? tunnel was built in 1890 and it was used extensively by German troops during World War II. So, you know it's while haunted. on a weekend trip, Laura checks out the historic old abandoned rail tunnel. She's recording with her phone when she captures what is maybe one of the weirdest clips I've ever seen. Weirdest. Check Weird. it out. You thought going here was a good idea to explore? Yeah, is this... Are you this, alone? Yeah, are you alone? Oh, see something. Is that the light at the end of the tunnel? I don't know. Oh, Wait. what was Wait. that? <laughs> Something pale and thin can be seen rising up from the tracks in front of Laura on what looks oh, like it's a, zombie. a thin little arm. As for Laura, she gets one look at the disturbing thing and just turns and makes a run for it. Now, watching this clip over and over, I honestly have no idea what this is. It looks like maybe a hairless torso with two skinny arms. Maybe it's a very weird looking person. I just don't know. Imagine <laughs> looking like that. <laughs> what if they were just taking a nap and you're like flashing the <laughs> flashlight at them and their eyes are all adjusted to darkness? There's no way that's a person. It looks like either a zombie or, or one of those creatures from the descent. Evil Alexa. Oh, I hate these. Now, this yeah, next I video is these. about the dangers of accidentally scaring yourself. Eight-year-old Jackson and two of his friends are having a sleepover at his home in Grapevine, Texas. The three hey? fearless young boys decide to ask the family's Amazon Alexa oh, no. to tell them a scary bedtime no. story. Oh. It was then that they realized they had made a huge mistake. I don't know Alexa. Alexa, tell me a bedtime story. Alexa, tell me a bedtime story. Sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, tell me a horror story. Did you hear that? Alexa, turn off, turn off. Alexa, stop. Alexa, turn off. Alexa, is that creepy? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it wasn't. Alexa, Wait. play. It's like a song. As requested, Alexa begins telling a scary story starting with, Did you hear that? The eight year old boys lose their <laughs> damn minds and just begin to scream and yell for Alexa to stop. That was when it was fun back then, right? <laughs> Unholy night. Nah. Mariana Ramos says that her oh. father was attending Christmas mass at his local church when he decided to send her a quick video of the service. When Mariana watches the video, she sees something that gives her the chills. In church? Yeah. What? A pale person with no distinct features and deep hollow eyes can be seen amongst the celebrating churchgoers. Mariana asks her father about the mysterious figure, a mess. and he too is disturbed and confused because he says he didn't see this person when he recorded the video. What? He asks other church members, but no one recognizes the odd stranger in the footage. But here's where things get really weird. What? Because Mariana claims that there was one person who did recognize this figure. The church's Wait. old priest. The priest said that the person in the video was an old woman who used to work closely with the church. A woman who had died many years earlier. Ooh. But that looks like a mask, doesn't it? With the eyes like kind of cut out. You can't tell. I don't know. What do the you guys think? The camera quality is not great. Yeah, that's true. You decide. Doesn't it look like a mask? 
when you get older, to the other side. Pads get Tic Tac user Alyssa is outside with her two children one night when the family spots something strange in the second floor bedroom window. All right, my daughter's room is up there, and we keep seeing some. All right, put your flashlight up. Wait, did we see this before? <gasps> Okay, wait, we're gonna look down for a minute, but put your flashlight down. Let's see if we can get it to go again. All right, oh. flash it up there. Oh, uh, the blinds. Now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Look, look, look. Someone's peeking through. Flash it again. <laughs> put it down, put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. Alright, put it up. Hurry. Oh, oh, yeah, I saw that. Someone's Someone peeking. Or something yeah. can be seen peeking through the blinds of Alyssa's daughter's bedroom. That's crazy. But when they shine their flashlight, whatever it is simply disappears out of sight. Mm. Creepily enough, no one can be seen standing behind the blinds, and no yeah. hand can be seen moving them. Now, Alyssa believes that her house is haunted by a friendly ghost or poltergeist friendly. that means her family no harm. Alyssa and her children just rush right into the house and quickly head up to check out the window. Oh my god. All right, let's see if it'll do it one more time, baby. Put your flashlight up. Ooh, it again. All right, f it. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. You gonna bring your kids in there? Okay. I know. All right, here's the upstairs. I just want to show you guys. No one behind the door. Here's my daughter's room. It's a little messy, I'm sorry, but just her, to show you. Her daughter lives up there. Here's the closet. I just want to show you there's nobody behind. Nobody in the closet. Here's the window right over here. Nobody. Not a single person up here. The family finds oh nothing and no one there. Now, it is interesting to note that shortly after posting this video to TikTok, Alyssa closed her account and seemed to just kind of disappear from the internet. What? So, Hi. that is a bit of a mystery. Uh, walking uh. Among Us. Canadian Paranormal Investigation Team Walking Among Us reached out to us about a terrifying experience one of their investigators had at the historic SDG jail in Cornwall, Ontario, Canada. Oh. Yeah, that's hot. The SDG jail was built in 1833. And over its 190 year history, many people have lost their life here. Some by hanging, some from illness, and some from horrible violence. Perhaps even more disturbing, many unclaimed bodies were buried right on the property. Ooh. With a dark history like that, it's no wonder that the SDG jail is said to be extremely haunted. Yeah. On an overnight investigation, Walking Among Us team member Krista is all alone in a known paranormal hotspot on the lower levels of the jail. My name's Krista. Can you please tell me your name? What that thing is. Yeah, is it part of music? Wait, was that not part of the, her team? The voice? What? No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Really stop. loud. Ray? That's not funny. Krista is freaked out when she hears shuffling footsteps in the hallway near her. And then hears a voice that she thinks is fellow investigator Ray. It's not. But there's just one problem. At the time, Rafe is in a completely different part of the building, filming with the other team investigators. I don't want to do reports. Nothing ever happens to me. I'm fine. Yeah, but maybe it will. Okay, fine. I'll sit, sit there. Sit for like 20 seconds. Okay, See if fine, you hear fine. anything. Krista is all alone while team members Rafe, Kelly, and James are doing a separate investigation <gasps> in another part of the jail. In fact, when Krista calls out, the other team member's camera captures them in real time running over to check on Krista. Is anyone So clear. Rafe? Why didn't they split up two and two? I know. <laughs> no, no, stop, 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 stop. Hello, hello, hello. We're coming. Rafe? Are you okay? That's not funny. What happened? No one's there. 
After rewatching the footage, the investigators believe that a spirit might have mimicked Rafe's voice. That's scary. So uh, I forgot what you guys said. You said those things that mimic voices doors are like like demons, right? That's scary. Is it? Let us know in the comment section. I, I want to know now. I don't. Who waits in the woods? No one. So this is <laughs> Noah. Noah is not a YouTuber. He's not a TikToker. Noah okay. is just a guy who posted one single video to the internet about something that happened to him that scared the living shit out of him. Noah was driving late one night in the deep isolated woods of Sun River, Oregon. He hey, was that's what getting you a get. bit sleepy, so he decided to pull off onto no. a desolate country road in the woods to take a nap in the no. back of his truck. As How would you, you do can that? probably guess, it did not Oh, no, well. of course it doesn't go well. So I was originally not going to make this video, but a few days ago I was camping in Sun River and what I thought would be a good location to pull over to the side of the road no. in like this forest area and sleep, which I thought no one was really around. Oh my God. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is. And there's someone walking around my truck right now. What's that no what was that noise? Yeah. You can hear that. It's pretty loud. Um he's been walking around for like twenty minutes already. <gasps> um, Gary. To my cab though. Yeah. Um I don't really know what to do. I'm a What's little up freaked with the out grudge right noise? Now, and it's like pitch black outside. Probably like two in the morning. And he just keeps walking around. And he's like really close to my truck. I've never been this scared. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see. No one was on that road. He's literally, he's literally walking. He's literally walking on my truck. The canopy, the back door is locked. I can never been scared before ever. Whoa. This I'm is so scary right now. So scary. He's literally peeking through the door right now. I've never been this scared ever. So the current time is 2.30 in the morning right now. He's still walking up around my truck. I'm gonna try to see if I can flash my light to get him scared. No. What if that makes him even Oh god. I don't know. Eventually, whoever this person was wandered off and left Noah in peace. Uh. But the next morning, when Noah cautiously gets out of his truck, there's some creepy evidence left behind. So I'm back home. This is the day after. Um, he was trying to peek in my truck uh, quite a bit with all these marks. I didn't even notice until I got home. Um, handprints there, a lot of scratches, stuff like that. Um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. Uh, well, it looks like to yeah. be trying to get inside my truck. Um, I'm glad you locked your door. That's really all I could tell from when he was walking around. That's new. Uh, don't know how that got there. More handprints trying to get in my truck. Um, at least the back canopy was locked, but um, yeah, that was the result. So that was probably the scariest camping experience I've probably ever had in my entire life. Now, the strangest thing about this entire incident is that Noah was parked off the road in the woods in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. And whoever this person was outside had no flashlight and never spoke a single word while skulking around Noah's truck all night long. So we're living in a forest, so... You know the Strangers movie? They yeah. live there. Yeah. 
And you're lucky that he, uh, that person didn't get a rock and smash the window. Or slash the tires or anything. Oh, you're... Man. That's- Imagine trying to open a random person's car. You don't know if they're armed. Yeah. So, obviously... I don't know. No. You're lucky. Hider in the house. Oh, oh what? No. Mamo and Patty, a couple who explore haunted places in Mexico, are worried that a vengeful female spirit followed them home oh, no. from one of their investigations. See? The couple oh, no. says that they now experience frequent paranormal activity in their home that terrifies both them and and their children. Oh, that's so A few months ago, we featured Memo and Patty's story as they began broadcasting their experiences live on YouTube in an attempt to prove that their paranormal encounters are real. Wait, that's not one of them? They were woken up by weird sounds coming from outside their bedroom door. When this happened. What about your kids? <laughs> Wait, did she not see it? In the window. Oh, they didn't see it. What's that? Oh, it's a reflection. Don't go outside. Don't open the door. Sorry, it with them. Yeah, but what if it brings friends? Chickens. Oh no. Since that night, the terrifying activity inside Memo and Patty's home has only intensified. Oh, and the couple no. continues to live stream their experiences right on YouTube. Another night, and the family is already live streaming as they arrive home. They are answering some questions from their curious live viewers when something happens that is truly bizarre. On live. Por ahí las llaves se quedaron pegadas. Por ahí se quedaron pegadas. Saludos, gira TikToks. Vamos a darle con oh, todo. Vamos Wait. a darle muy bien Did esta noche that? a la platicada. No, no, no. Did you see it? Yeah. As the it's family the is getting out of the car, Memo randomly pans his phone's camera past the house's window for just a second. But in that brief moment, a bizarre dark silhouette can be seen standing in their living this room. This is none. Even though the house should be completely empty. Memo and his family no. have no idea what they just caught on camera until viewers watching their live stream start to alert them. Now, Memo tries to debunk the strange apparition, hoping that it was nothing more than a reflection. But no, he can that, find no explanation no for who or what this could be. <gasps> And things only get worse what? from Where's... here. Another night, and Memo starts to broadcast a live stream to YouTube to show the weird prints that he found on his car oh, that was parked no. in their garage all day. Suddenly, he hears loud banging coming from a storage room inside the house. Did they still go ghost hunting in after that? I know. Oh, God. Let's see a pair of eyes. Hola. Can I say? Uh. Hola. Ah. Oh, creo que se metió. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> creo que se metió un animal. You sure about that? Oh gosh. Hola. No mames. The children's playhouse suddenly moves by itself and just slides right across the floor. Memo fears that an animal has gotten into the playhouse. He frantically checks inside and out. There's nothing there. But again, did you see it? No what? Something that looks like a very tall figure with a shadowy oh, what the face hell? can be seen peeking out at Memo from oh, behind the shelf. It moves. Again, Memo doesn't see it and is completely unaware of what just happened until his live stream audience points it out, telling him to go look behind that go look. shelf. Aquí? 
¿Cómo creen? Si aquí no hay nada. Está hasta la caja. Vean. Es ropa vacía. That's crazy. That's terrifying. This is why you shouldn't go ghost hunting without proper, like, uh, what do you call it when you, like, kind of like the Ouija board you have to, close yeah, close it out. Like a tab at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> close it out. You don't just leave. They'll, they'll find you. They'll hunt you down. <laughs> 